Muslim Solidarity Forum has called on the Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Matthew Kuka, to tender on reserved apology to the entire Muslim Ummah over his recent alleged malicious comments against Islam. Addressing a press conference on Tuesday, January 12, 2021, the acting chairman of the forum, Professor Issa Muhammad Meishanu, maintained that Kuka's statements were capable of breaking the age-long peaceful coexistence among religious faithful in the country. Our intention at Muslim Solidarity Forum is not to hold brief for the president, as he has those who are paid to do that. Rather, our concern is the image and reputation of Muslims, which Mr. Cooker finds pleasure in attacking without an iota of caution, and by referring to him, the president, as a Muslim, that automatically brings all Muslims into the issue, Professor Meishanu said. The bishop had a penchant to speak in parables and in windows. His reference to a people who possess a pool of violence to draw from, no doubt, is a reference to those he has always characterized with violence, the Muslims. This is a serious provocation, the professor added. Lambasting Bishop Puka, the Islamic Forum boss said, he even has the guts to say the killings we are witnessing in Nigeria are part of a grand religious design. Religious? Who are the victims of the killings? What religion do they profess? Is it not a fact that over 90% of those being killed are Muslims? Who is, being, who is behind the so-called design? He asked. These callous statements are unbecoming of someone who parades himself as secretary to the National Peace Committee and a member of Nigeria Inter-Religious Council, NIREC. As such, we call on Kukar to immediately stop his malicious vituperation against Islam and Muslims and send their unreserved apology to the Muslim Ummah, or else quickly and quietly leave the seat of the Caliphate, as he is trying to break the age-long peaceful coexistence between the predominant Muslim population and their Christian guests. Professor Meishan noted. He added, the sensible and objective world knows the truth. We wonder how Kuka, who lives peacefully and comfortably in the heart of the Sokoto Caliphate, can make such a callous and senseless statement. Bishop Kuka had in his Christmas message stated that Nigeria was on the verge of becoming a failed state under President Muhammad Buhari, but denied calling for a coup in the country. Kuka, in the message, accused President Buhari of nepotism, saying there could have been a coup if a southerner or non-Muslim was the president and had done a quarter of what the president had done. The presidency had described Kuka's statement as an attempt to stoke the members of hatred, sectarian strife and national disunity, while the Muslim rights consign Murik terms it as reckless inflammatory and unguided. But while responding to question in Sokoto, Puka said, if you call for a coup, it means it is something that is not here. It is something that will happen in the future. So is grammar. So if I call for it, it means it is not ready. But if I say, had it been so, so and so it will have. The tenses are completely different and I may be probably wrong. If you know better, let me know. So it is unfair for any journalist or newspaper to say that I call for a military coup. From Lagos, this is Peace, Mwabuko, News Express, Nigerian Television.